Good morning, y'all. I am just gonna make a little follow-up video to the one I did yesterday. Sorry for the bad videography. I don't have any assistance this morning, but I am almost 24 hours into the uh, swapping the energy from this battery into this battery. And I wanted to show you what, I'm, what I go through when this happens. It's uh, gonna just be a very, very short video. So, I have so far run 257 amp hours out of this battery, and it's been almost 24 hours. And the lowest cell in this battery is at 3.013 volts. And that, this BMS will cut this battery off at 2800 millivolts at 2.8 volts. So it's uh, starting to drop rather quickly. I think, uh, also I'll show you, I have gone ahead and cleaned up the wiring that was such a mess yesterday on the sensing wires and I've put the, I've distributed the temperature sensors around the battery in between the cells and on the outside and I don't think that that's going to really matter because it's going to all be in a climate controlled building. But this is all cleaned up. I've got these uh, little glue on tabs that you can use a zip tie with to hold it all where you want it. And I try to keep the sensing wires from being directly over the vents in case it was ever vented. But I'm not too concerned about that either. Now, uh, I will also be able to tell you that I have a kilowatt hour on here, a kilowatt meter on here, and at this, uh, it's been running close to 600 watts most of the time, and that this inverter is running at about 90% efficiency for that. Um, one other thing, the small inexpensive power supplies when i get close on uh you can see the, the amperage is dropping on these units um, as i get further up into the charge the state of charge and when i get close i take these small inexpensive power supplies offline because i don't trust them um, they're very sensitive to the voltage setting and they can, their voltage can change. You can look at them and go, wait, how, why is it at 4.2 volts? I didn't do anything. Well, I, I just don't trust them to just leave them unattended. So uh, that's my uh, reasoning for taking them offline towards the end. So um, one other thing that I'll show you before I go, when this battery is finished top balancing and I move it into the space where it is now going to discharge into the next battery. I need to have the next battery box ready. So I've gone ahead and installed all of the electronic gear into the next battery box. This morning I'll go ahead and put the rods in and I'll get the next group of cells installed so that it looks like this and is ready to go when this one, when it's time for this battery to uh, be capacity tested and dump its energy into this one. And we'll just leapfrog down the line until we've done all 16 batteries. So 258 amp hours out of this battery so far. Uh, this is the third battery and remember these uh, batteries I've used the worst cells in the batch uh, the ones I'm certain were used um, I don't believe all of the cells that I got from this order were used I think some of them were I think they dump some of their <laughs> bad cells on you and some that aren't so bad and I think you get a mixture when you place a large order with these resellers uh, of lesser repute, but they do get a lower price typically. So here we are down to 29.98, headed to 2.8 and then it will shut off and I'll be here when that happens. And based on 
the previous battery, the first battery with the worst cells, I got 260 amp hours out of. The second one, 261. I think I'm probably going to get about 264 out of this one, something like that. Um, and the later batteries will have more capacity. It's just going to get better. Each battery should have a little more capacity than the one before. All right. Well, there you go. That's uh, that's my little follow-up video I wanted to give you. I'll let you see how it is just before we uh, swap over. I think that this battery will deplete itself before this is completely top balanced. So I will end up uh, taking the power supply and plugging it into the wall outlet to finish the top balancing. And then I will let it sit for uh, maybe I'll let it sit overnight or if it finishes up pretty soon, I will probably be able to go ahead and tonight, I'm going to let it sit for a number of hours until the cells are all reading the same and are balanced. And then I will, which takes a little longer with these brass bus bars, and then I will swap it over. So probably tonight, this battery will be here, this battery will be here, and uh, we'll be moving on down the line. You can see that uh, by putting all these power supplies together, you get a top balance much quicker. So thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you on the next video. I think the next video, my videographer will be back. My lovely wife will be back. And we'll probably take, who knows, maybe we'll take this battery and show you turning it into a, a, an actual battery. Or it might be the next one. Y'all take care. I'm going to be running siding today. Hopefully, convince myself to get out there and work. See ya.